Bacardi Be Live is the largest spirit-sponsored music festival in the world. With events in over 25 countries, Be Live was conceptualized to bring together several different artists in a collaborative effort to create an entirely new sound. In early 2007, Be Live landed in Miami at the Bayfront Park Amphitheater with performances by DJ AM spinning alongside outrageous drummer Travis Barker. The massive rock supergroup Camp Freddy took the stage, a cocktail of rock gods who get together every once in a while to play covers and jam with their friends. This congregation included a who's who from the LA rock scene. Enjoy. But it was another artist we were here to learn more about. As a teenager, Paul Oakenfold gained a reputation as a party DJ in his hometown of London. But on a trip to Goa, an island off the west coast of India, Paul discovered trance music and began fusing it with similar sounding European records. Tonight, he premieres a new live concept for his sound. The idea of the orchestra came from a show that I'd done previously at the Hollywood Bowl. A few years ago, uh, I worked with a quartet. I felt that the right time, right place, I would take it to the next level. Uh, a full orchestra is 70 to 75 people. That takes an extreme amount of work and a lot of planning. Uh, so we felt that well, let's cut it down to 20 people and it was a lot more manageable and made a lot more sense. So I was going to try it last year with Ultra but didn't really come to fruition. So I decided that I will work with Be Live this, this year and not Ultra and do it because I, I really, it was a big challenge for me and I, and I really felt that it was a step in the right direction. My choice of, of nine, nine tracks, I re-edited everything and added some additional stuff to them. They're remixed and, and rearranged in terms of individual pieces, that's how I started it. Uh, to give the space in the track for the, uh, the orchestra to play on. We did a five hour rehearsal uh, on Friday, sat with the, the conductor, um, and I'd worked with him previously and the, and the piano player, uh, Martin. We'd worked previously to set it up, to put it into writing, so uh, in terms of what they play. It, it, it's, it, once you get to a certain level, it's pretty much straightforward because the, the only way to tour this is not to take 75 people on the road, it's just to log, lock in to all the individual orchestras in the city that you go to. So I'm going up to Boston in June and I'm going to work with the Boston Philharmonic. So all you do is you send them the book and they turn up and as, as they normally do, just play what's there. So as long as me and the conductor Felix, as long as me and Felix are on the same page, then in terms of knowing what we're doing and he's in charge in terms of I'm looking at him to count me in and everyone's looking at him. My concern was that, I, that if I'd come in too early, because it all comes from me, that I throw the orchestra out. It's not like when you're just DJ and you come in when you want. I had to come in at a certain time and come out at a certain time. So you really have to con really concentrate on knowing that you've got 20 seconds and make sure you're cued and you've let the record go at exactly the time to come in at the right time for them. And in rehearsals it's pretty easy but in terms of doing that but during it live I was pretty nervous to be honest because if I had come in five, four bars earlier it would have thrown everything out. So that was, I was really trying to concentrate you know amongst the other things that you do.
When she turned up for rehearsal, there was, there was an old guy, um, you know, grey hair, and his son comes to the clubs and stuff. And then there was the old woman, and I thought, oh man, I mean, she, you know. I, I wanted to talk to her after. I mean, it would have been good to actually talk to her and find out what she thought or what, or if she even knew what was going on because these were just members of, of a bigger orchestra that was just hired. I mean, we didn't hire them for what the, how they look. We hired them for how good they are as players. That was what it was all about. And understanding the piece. The younger guys seemed to enjoy it a lot. I mean, one of them had these psychedelic glasses on, though, which I thought was pretty cool.